All right, let's learn how we can quanti quantify bands um, using image J. We're going to start image J. And now we're going to open up a gel file. Say file open. And it's in the same folder here, this urease purification number two. All right, here's our Here's our gel that will we'll practice quantifying bounds relatively toward their lane. So what we'll do is we'll first figure out what is the general signal for the lane. To do this, first we need to invert the image so that the bands are now white and the background is black. The reason for this in most image analysis, black is equal to zero and color or white is equal to some value. Okay, So let's get a value, a numerical value for lane number two. We're going to use this box tool. We're going to draw a box around the lane. We'll try to make it fit fairly well around the lane. Okay, And now we'll go to analyze and we'll say set measurements. And we're going to uncheck everything except for integrated density right here. We want integrated density checked because that's what we're going to want to measure. We're going to measure like basically the intensity of this entire lane. Okay. You could have all of you could you could have any of these things checked, and the program will give you values for these other features as well. Okay. So okay. And now we'll go to analyze, and we'll say measure, or Control M. And there, it gave us an integrated density of 199.498 um, for that lane. Okay. So now let's get let's get the uh, um, the integrated density for the next lane for for lane for fraction number three. I mean, we didn't quantify fraction number one because there's actually nothing in fraction number one. Okay. So I'm just using the cursors to just move this this um, selection, this box selection over the next lane, and then we do again analyze measure. Okay, and it gives us another value. You'll see that this lane is a little bit brighter than the previous lane, and therefore it gives a little bit a little bit larger number. Right? Use the cursor keys again. Move to lane number four, and just try to get this. So it covers up the lane as best as we can. Um, the protein gels don't run absolutely in a straight line. As you can see, there are some little bit of curves to the, to the gel that's normal. All right, we'll do another measure. And then we'll, this will be the last lane we'll measure. We'll measure lane uh, fraction number five. Again, we we'll try to center this on there as best we can. And Say analyze, measure. Okay. Now let's also measure the the urease band in each one of these lanes, because what we want to know is the relative signal of urease to the rest of the lane. This way we can estimate uh, how much purification or enrichment is happening. Okay. So we'll draw a band around the, uh, I mean a selection box around the the urease band. Let's try to make this pretty pretty exact okay okay and then we'll do an analyze and a measure okay use the cursor keys to move that over to the next to fraction number three and analyze measure move it over to fraction four Analyze measure fraction five. Analyze measure. Okay. Anyway, now we have a, a bunch of numbers here. Okay. If you make a mistake and you want and you accidentally got something that you didn't want, so let's say here I'm gonna I'm gonna move this selection box to um, another place. Like, what if I accidentally measured that and I didn't want that to analyze measure. 
So you'll see that I got another value here for number 9. All I have to do to get rid of that is highlight it and go to edit, clear. Okay? And so you, can, you can't really make a mistake on this. Okay? So then anyway, let's take these numerical values over to Excel. So we'll go to edit and copy or select all and copy and we'll go over we'll go over to Excel um, let's go to this this file that I've already set up this gel based urease quantification open that up okay, it's taking a moment to load up Oh, there we go. All right, and we just paste these values in here. Okay. Now you remember the first four measurements were for for the lanes of fraction um, two through five. So let's go ahead and copy copy that over um, into a labeled um, columns and rows format. So what we'll do is. Let's say copy. What I, I did, I used Control C and Control V to just do that. But you could have gone to copy, and then you could have come over here to paste. Anyway, so let's copy this, copy, then come over here and paste. Okay. Now, in order to find, you know, a relative relative enrichment of urease compared to the other proteins in the lane. Um, we want a ratio. So let's make a ratio of urea signal to, to the lane signal. And that would, we could do that in Excel by saying equals. We'll say urea signal divided by the lane signal. Say enter. Okay. We don't have to do that calculation for every, um, every row. We can instead use the fill down feature in Excel. Fill them all down. Now you notice that these values are really small values um, because the lane signal is much more than that one little urease band. Uh, to put this on a scale that is a little bit um, better for our eyes to work with, we could normalize all of this data by dividing them by the same thing. Okay, so what we could do is we could divide all of these all of these things by the first lane, like the 0 0.0633. Let's do that. Equals that that cell divided by that cell, and we'll make that absolute. This last thing absolute. So we'll press F4, and we'll get a dollar sign before the uh, uh, the column and the row. You can also just manually type in those dollar signs. That means that this will always. Um, this reference will always point to this cell. Okay. To enter. You'll see what I mean when we do this here. Now let's do a fill down. Fill down. Okay. So now when we now when we fill down, you'll notice that the um, the program is now looking at um, I I three which is I3 right here and it is dividing it by I, uh, I2. Right. If we look at this guy here it's dividing I4 by I2 so everything is being divided by by I2. See that here. Right. So we basically we've, we've, we've divided everything by the same value so that we can get values closer to one okay so we can just by looking at this um, roughly we can see that um, that fraction two has just the slightest bit more urease um, per lane than um, than fraction one it has about 1.3 percent more we can also see that fraction five has nearly 40 percent less urease per lane than um, fraction two. Okay. So now you get an idea of how we can turn 
gel um, gel images um, into into numerical data that we can work with and do math on.